this is gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, no, that's too heavy. God damn it. So close. All right, we'll take a break. I need to rest my back anyways. Alrighty, so here is the unboxing of the 36 inch Husky Red Tool Chest Cabinet. As you can see, I'm super excited to do this. This is the top half, this is the bottom half, which is far bigger. And I believe this is the one that needs installation because we need to put the wheels on. Now, because it's a heavier product, I'm gonna need to figure out a way to put the wheels on without scratching the back end or the side end when I have it leaned over or something like that or completely on its side. And then and figuring out a way to lift it back up, which shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm gonna use the box to... Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you doing, Summer? Yeah, yeah. I'm watching Daddy how to open this. Yeah, you can join in. Um, where was I? So I'm gonna use the box to do a little bit of protection when I put the cast wheels on. Hopefully that's the only construction you need to do and not like have to assemble like, little bits and pieces of every little drawer. That would be quite annoying, but I don't care. I'm excited for this, let's go. My biggest worry was transporting this over here and everything worked out. Let's open the bottom half. Right. Oh, look at this. If you can't tell by my excitement, I am very excited, legitimately. I've been wanting this forever. Okay, I wonder if this is easier if I just cut the sides and then let it like unravel rather than obviously trying to pull it out. That would be dumb. Eey. There we go, there we go. You, you. Oh, buddy. Yes, yes, everything's on. Look at that. I don't have to do any construction here. Added protection. There we go, I think that'll work. Whew. Question is, where are the wheels? Ooh. Okay, let's see, it's in French. You know, I don't usually read instructions, but this one's very important to me. Oh, okay, so you gotta put the handlebars in. Question is, where are the wheels? Let's see. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's here. Man, it's like everything's made out of steel. Okay, these must be the wheels. Yes, sir. These are big boy wheels. Two of these wheels are fixed and then other two wheels are swivel with a locking mechanism. So gotta make sure that I have these two on one side and then the fixed wheels on the other side. So it works like a shopping cart. Now all the tools are provided here, it looks like, and I won't need to... Okay, you go inside, you go inside. You go inside. I won't need to get extra tools because it gives you an Allen key. There you go. That should work. Wonder if I should use my drill though to make it faster. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Don't really need to read the instructions to learn how to put a wheel on. So I'll put those away, put those away. And then set this on the ground. Let's see, how heavy is it? There we go. So the wheels holes are exposed now and this should be pretty easy. So I'm just gonna fast forward it. There you go. Now 
time to open up the, the top box. Well, I guess I gotta put the handle in first, but whatever, we'll get it all going. Few moments later. All right, as you can see, I have put the bottom piece on the location where it needs to go. I put the handle in. I didn't film it because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to screw it on. And yeah, it works like a charm. It's a little wonky to move around, but it's good to go. Now, time for the top piece. I don't think there's much construction or installation that I need to do. I just need to unravel it. Yes! Whoa. That is bigger than it looks. Shit. That's gonna be hard to lift. Yeah, it's gonna be a little wonky to lift. I think I need to bring this out. Uh, uh, uh. Woo, buddy, this looks so good. Everything seems to be there. Those are all the pads. Okay, stay down. All right, this is the part that I'm kind of afraid of. And then I'm gonna lift, put it on this bad boy. <sighs> this is gonna hurt. Probably will have to take some meds. Okay. Oh, no, that's too heavy. <sighs> it's really awkward, like trying to lift it up. So I'm gonna have to wait till somebody comes by to help me lift. God damn it. So close. Huh, I wonder what these holes are. Maybe there's more to it than just putting it on top. Oh, there is. Guess it makes sense. What does it do? It like, sits like that. It's a good thing I didn't do it on my own or else I would have not found this. And there is a hole that just kind of snugs in. All four are in and we'll have to take a break because I need to wait for somebody to come help me. That's unfortunate. All right, we'll take a break. I need to rest my back anyways. There it is. Oh, I finally got somebody to help me. Full disclosure, it was my wife. She is definitely stronger than I am. And we pulled this together and put it up there. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start opening up all these drawers and show you guys what's in it as it comes. And then I'm gonna start setting it up because I'm so freaking excited to start putting my tools in. So let's get going. All right. Oh, it's nice. Look at that. It's kind of noisy, but whatever. So this is for the power bar. One thing you need to know is if you get the black version of this 36 inch tool chest from Husky Home Depot, the black one doesn't come with this power bar, which is kind of stupid. I don't know why they did that, but the red one and the blue one comes with it. So obviously I got it. This is a set of keys. So there was a set of keys for the top. And then I believe there was a set of keys down here as well for the bottom. Wait, what's this tied to? What's this tied to? Yeah, there you go. Ah, come on, sticker, stop sticking on me. So a good part of this is that you don't actually have to buy extra liners. This comes with it. So I'm just gonna open her up. You should have one for each drawer. Ah, let's start putting it in. This is the one for the main compartment. Now the important part of having these is that when you put your tools in it, A, it doesn't make a lot of noise, but B, it doesn't scratch the surface and wreck the paint. And that's a big no-no because you wanna keep this rust free and the paint's what's protecting all that. Now one thing that I'm realizing that I kind of don't like is how noisy it is when it closes and how fast it closes right there see there's a little bit of friction around here that stops it and then it just springs in and then it kind of makes the closure a little jarring and obviously I didn't lock this yet so it keeps moving okay that's locked now so the problem with it closing so fast and hard like that is if you have any tools that are kind of like sockets or something like that, just like on its own, it will start to shift or anything that is easy to roll. Like if you place it nicely around, maybe I'll show you, but by the time you close it, it's gonna roll. So it won't stay in place. 
and that could be annoying for some. Luckily for me, I purchased something from Amazon that will help me remedy that, which would be like little holders specifically for organizing your tools. And it's kind of loud when it closes because it just shuts off. Now for the bottom piece, your mats are going to be on the first drawer. So they come in separately. And for the bottom drawer, they're all long pieces, which is going to be awesome. Oh, so many drawers. I don't know what to do with them all. This is going to be a lifer, I think. I mean, if I need more tools beyond this, it's probably because I have become a professional or something. But for now, as an amateur, this is all I need. Oh, look how deep that is. The last one is in. I wonder if there's a way to dampen that to make it more of a smooth closure, like the automatic ones that you see in Ikea. And then even to pull it out, it takes a little bit more effort. It's kind of sticky like that. Okay, power bar. I guess we should probably install this. When I say install, I mean plugging it in. Pull this out. Okay, well, since I locked it, now I gotta unlock it to access the back. It's just the tape. Do I need this tape? I don't think so. Boom. Gone. And luckily I have a power plug right here. Go. Put it in. Uh, we'll put it on the bottom one. And I think about there. We'll lock it. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Yeah, that's gonna be a mess to clean up. All right, put this guy back in. Whoa, yes. So eventually what I'm gonna have is another tool bench that actually has a wooden top so I can actually start doing more work on it. But right now I'm gonna spend more time on filling this bad boy up with my existing tools and I'll give you guys a tour on what that looks like once everything is filled in. But for now, I am extremely happy with what I got, which is the 36 inch tool chest from Husky in red. This comes in black and blue as well, but the one that's in black does not come with a power bar on the side. So by now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this entire process of purchasing, transporting, and setting up the Husky tool chest. And if you wish to contribute or say thanks, there is a Patreon page that I created for the special folks that will have access to more behind the scenes personality of myself. So with that said, ride safe, ride prepared, ride on, peace.